Iran could respond to Israel's recent attacks before the U.S. presidential election on November 5th, CNN has reported, citing an unnamed high-ranking source. Israel has been expecting a potential response to its October 26 strike on Iran. Israel says it struck 20 military sites in Iran that were used to carry out attacks against it. After this first-ever open attack on Iran, Tehran downplayed the effect of the Israeli strike, and it was unclear whether it would attempt a major response. Iran's foreign minister Abbas Arachi stated on Tuesday that Israel's attack only caused limited damage. However, he pledged that his country will neither delay nor rush its response to Israel's strike. The Israeli regime will face the consequences of its miscalculation about Iran's power, capability and the willpower of the Islamic Republic of Iran, the minister vowed. The attack damaged facilities at a secretive military base southeast of the Iranian capital that experts in the past have linked to Tehran's one-time nuclear weapons program and at another base tied to its ballistic missile program. Satellite images suggest that a ballistic missiles base run by the paramilitary Revolutionary Guard was damaged during the Israeli strike. Two other bases near capital Tehran that manufacture ballistic missiles were also damaged during the attack, suggesting that Israel appears to have targeted Iran's missile production process. It remains unclear exactly how many sites were targeted. Israel's attack was in itself in retaliation for the barrage of ballistic missiles the Islamic Republic fired on Israel earlier this month. Iran's foreign minister stressed Tuesday his country will neither delay nor rush its response to Israel's first-ever open attack on his country. Abbas Arachi vowed Israel will face consequences for the attack during a meeting with foreign diplomats in Tehran. The Israeli regime will face the consequences of its miscalculation about Iran's power, capability and the willpower of the Islamic Republic of Iran, he said. Israel attacked military targets in Iran with pre-dawn airstrikes Saturday in retaliation for the barrage of ballistic missiles the Islamic Republic fired on Israel earlier this month. The Israeli military said its aircraft targeted facilities that Iran used to make the missiles fired at Israel as well as surface-to-air missile sites. The attack damaged facilities at a secretive military base southeast of the Iranian capital that experts in the past have linked to Tehran's one-time nuclear weapons program and at another base tied to its ballistic missile program, satellite photos analyzed Sunday by the Associated Press show. However, Arachi said the attack only caused limited damage. Limited damage was caused to some of the points hit and necessary measures were taken immediately to restore the damaged equipment to operational state, he said. Arachi also insisted that Iran is not seeking conflict or war, but rather stability and peace. چنان که بیشتر پیشتر از طرق مختلف هشدار داده بودیم جمهوری اسلامی ایران با ابتنای بر حق ذاتی دفاع مشروع وفق ماده 51 منشور ملل متحد حق قانونی خود برای پاسخ مقتضی به این تجاوز آشکار را کاملا محفوظ دانسته و رژیم اسرائیل عواقب اشتباه محاسباتی خیش در مورد قدرت توانمندی و اراده جمهوری اسلامی ایران را در خواهد یافت البته در انجام این مهم جمهوری اسلامی ایران نه تعلل خواهد داشت و نه شتاب زده عمل خواهد کرد جمهوری اسلامی ایران بر خلاف رژیم حاکم بر اسرائیل به هیچ عنوان خواهش تن... خواهان تنش درگیری و جنگ نیست و دستان خود را برای برقراری یک ارتباط سازنده برادرانه و صادقانه با کشورهای منطقه 
با هدف برقراری ثبات، امنیت و آرامش در منطقه دراز می کنند. با توجه به آمادگی و خوشیاری نیروهای مسلح جمهوری اسلامی ایران و عملکرد به موقع پدافند هوایی کشور، خسارات محدودی به برخی نقاط مورد اصابت وارد آمد که بلا فاصله اقدامات لازم برای بازگشت تجهیزات صدمه دیده به مدار عملیاتی صورت پذیرد. Israeli airstrikes hit the city of Baalbek in eastern Lebanon on Wednesday, sending a fireball and plumes of black smoke into the sky. Earlier in the day, the Israeli army issued an evacuation warning for residents across the entire city, along with surrounding areas and key routes in the Bekaa Valley. The area marked for evacuation includes an ancient Roman temple complex, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Also on Wednesday, a drone strike targeted a van on the Araya Highway, a major road linking Beirut to the Bekaa Valley, about 10 kilometers from the Lebanese capital, according to Lebanese state media. Another vehicle in Shamoun, roughly 10 kilometers southeast of Beirut, was also targeted, Lebanese state media reported. It remains unclear who was targeted and the number of casualties is yet to be reported. Lebanon's Heath Ministry said more than 2,790 people have been killed and 12,700 wounded since October 8, 2023, when Hezbollah began firing rockets into Israel, drawing retaliation. <laughs>